and girls. Happy Thursday. Here's our read aloud as promised, The Mitten by Jan Brett. Now, when we read this before in the classroom, you know to look for some kind of picture here, then the big picture, and then something here. Raise your hand if you remember. Excellent. Here we go. This is also illustrated by Jan Brett. Once there was a boy named Nicky who wanted his new mittens made from wool as white as snow. Let me see if I can get this right. Pretty good. I think you can see all the pictures. At first, his grandma Baba did not want to knit white mittens. If you drop one in the snow, she warned, you'll never find it. But Nicky wanted snow white mittens, and finally, Baba made them. After she finished, she said, when you come home, first I will look to see if you are safe and sound, but then I will look to see if you still have your snow white mittens. So off Nicky went, and it wasn't long until one of his mittens dropped in the snow and was left behind. There's a lot of snow there. Let's see if you can pick out where the mitten is lying in the snow. Did you see it? Okay. Now, do you know our prediction? Okay. See if you're right. A mole, is that your guess? Good. Tired from tunneling along, discovered the mitten and burrowed inside. It was cozy and warm and just the right size, so he decided to stay. Do you know who's going to show up next? Okay. A snowshoe rabbit came hopping by. He stopped for a moment to admire his winter coat. It was then that he saw a mitten and he wiggled in, feet first. The mole didn't think there was room for both of them, but when he saw the rabbit's big kickers, he moved over. What are big kickers? Yeah, his feet. Next, the hedgehog came snuffling by. Having spent the day looking under wet leaves for things to eat, he decided to move into the mitten and warm himself. The mole and the rabbit were bumped and jostled. But not being one to argue with someone covered with prickles, they made room. As soon as the hedgehog disappeared into the mitten, a big owl, attracted by the commotion, swooped down. What's commotion? Oh, that makes a lot of noise. When he decided to move in also, the mole, the rabbit, and the hedgehog grumbled. But when they saw the owl's glinty talons, they quickly let him in. Up through the snow appeared a badger. He eyed the mitten and began to climb in. The mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, and the owl were not pleased. There was no room left. But when they saw his jiggers, they gave him the thumb. How big that mitten. <laughs> it started snowing, but the animals were snug in the mitten. A waft of warm steam rose in the air, and a fox trotted by, stopping to investigate. Just the sight of a cozy mitten made him feel drowsy. The fox poked his muzzle in, while the mole, the rabbit, and the hedgehog, the owl, and the badger saw his shining teeth. They gave the fox lots of room. Do you think this story could happen in real life? A giant bear lumbered by. He spied the mitten all plumped up, not being one to be left out in the cold. He began to nose his way in. The animals were packed as tightly as they could be. But what animal would argue with a bear? Not me. The mitten swelled and stretched. It was pulled and bulged to too many times its size. But Baba's good knitting held fast. Who remembers what happened? Along came a meadow mouse, no bigger than an acorn. She wiggled into the one spot left and made herself comfortable on top of the giant bear's nose. So remember is what the mouse does. Mm. 
the bear, tickled by the mouse's whiskers, gave an enormous sneeze. Ready? Let's sneeze together on the count of three. One, two, three. Ah, 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 choo! The force of the sneeze shot the mitten up into the sky and scattered the animals in all directions. On his way home, Nicky saw a white shape in the distance. It was the lost mitten silhouetted against the blue sky. As he ran to catch his snow white mitten, he saw Baba's face in the window. First she looked to see if he was safe and sound, and then she saw if he still had his new mitten. The animals are kind of scattering, huh? Ah, there's the last picture. What do you think she's thinking? Yeah, how did that happen, right? The mitten is huge. All right, so we said for tomorrow we have um, the other Jambrett story, which is called Hedgie Surprise. And I think, let's see if I can find the page with the hedgehog here. Um, I think he might be a repeat character. Okay, so we are going to have to, I guess you can only re really see the back of them here. Um, we're going to have to see if he's the same character that pops up in tomorrow's story. Have a great day. Bye, guys. Miss you.